Yes, we're in week 14 of the UTMB 55k training. And here I am running some of the highlights of Barcelona, seeing some of Gaudi's greatest work. Look at that. Let's go. We're going up here, up the main shopping strip here. Some really nice shops along this section. And first off, we're going to visit Casa Batlo. And we're going to follow that up shortly afterwards with another of Gaudi's architectural delights, Casa Mila. After we've been to Casa Mila, we're going to La Sagrada Familia. Sorry about my Spanish pronunciation. So here we are, Casa Batlo. Doesn't really do it justice in the uh, morning light and on camera but uh, something to be seen really is quite a stark um, difference from the surrounding buildings but lots of curvy shapes uh, interesting okay here we are just up the road here's Casa Mila it's also called La Pedrera by the locals. I understand La Pedrera means pile of rocks or rocks and that reflects some of the feeling that the people had at the time when it was being built that it was a bit of an eyesore making a bit of a mess and like all good architecture was shaking things up a bit. So Mila is the name of the family but it's also known as Pedrera. Right we're now going on to one of the big sites in Barcelona, La Sagrada Familia. Let's go. And once we've finished at La Sagrada Familia, we're going to go to Park uh, Guinardo. Again, apologies for my Spanish pronunciation. And then after that, we head north a little bit to Park Guell, which is another of the famous architects creations and there in the distance is the church they all talk about the Sagrada Familia so we're just going to go past there in a second well there it is one of Gaudi's great works I think he continued working on this until he died but uh, yeah pretty spectacular first impressions and we're going to come back later today for a bit more of a detailed look at this. But for the moment, uh, it's onwards to the first park of the run, Park Guinardo. Yeah, it's interesting, I've seen around the town quite a number of fountains that are empty. There's been a drought in Catalonia. So to implement drought saving measures, people aren't allowed to use swimming pools for the moment, I think. But certainly all the fountains have been turned off. Right, now heading up into the hills just behind Barcelona. Lovely morning, beautiful blue skies. Absolutely spectacular. We've arrived at Park del Granado. Oh. They certainly know where to put their parks in Barcelona. What amazing views. Look at that. I think that was the hill I was running on the other day. You can just about see the Olympic Stadium in the background. There's a Sagrada Familia. Absolutely spectacular. Getting higher and higher. Zigzagging up. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. What an amazing view. It gets better and better the higher you come. Just on my way now to Park Guell, which is Gaudi's unfinished masterpiece, I think. He wanted to make 60 gardens and I don't think he managed to make that many, but nevertheless, it's an impressive feat, whatever it was he achieved. He obviously battled through quite a bit of resistance, old Gaudi. Not much changes, does it, in the world of architecture? Wow, what a view. What a view. And yet again, just like the other day, we're out of the city and up to the hills and in something beautiful. That didn't prove to be as easy as I thought. Park Guell seems to be quite highly regulated, so I couldn't actually see any of the Gaudi uh, architectural gardens um, because it was all ticket only and they wouldn't allow them to run us through it. So I'm now just trying to find my way back through the uh, alternative streets of Barcelona that are very, very steep. But I'll tell you what, it makes a change from going up and down Box Hill on a soggy day. <laughs> Right, that's it for the Barcelona Gaudi run tour. We're now on our way home for the long fun bit downhill and then back in to the town and back to the hotel for a day sightseeing. And as if by magic, the city appears. And once more, we're into downtown Barcelona. I've only been in Barcelona two days, but I can already see why so many people write songs about Barcelona and celebrate it. It's an absolutely spectacular city. Really, really beautiful. Even the traffic seems quite well behaved and reasonably organized. And just a really lovely place to visit. So far having a great time. So I hope you enjoyed my little Gaudi tour of Barcelona in the springtime air. Uh, lovely. Next up for me on Sunday is the Seaford Half Marathon. So unless I post another video from Barcelona, which might be quite tempting, I'll see you there.